Well, you can see it's a bright sunny day out here in the lambing paddock again and uh, I'm afraid a lot of my little word for the week are coming from sheep and lambs at the moment because that's what's happening here. It's been bright and sunny and uh, the ground has come nice and dry and uh, you can see from the tractor behind me, Caleb's been out rolling. It's that time of year again. So uh, the roller gives me a great chance to uh, cut to one side and have a sit down and have a chat for the word for the week. I've got a little uh, phenomenon we often see with ewes and lambs to show you today. It's, uh, it's one we often see, it's one where the ewe and the lamb are calling back and forth to one another, can be for a long old time. And there's something interesting to learn from that that's going to help us, perhaps in our lives, just at the current time. So what you've just seen is a phenomenon where the uh, lamb calls, there's a gateway up the way there, there's a couple of bits of wire there, there's a fence going up, but uh, it knows very well where the gateway is because it went through the gate to get away from its mum. And now it's been calling for its mum and its mum's been calling back. But the thing is, once his mum, calls for his mum, but doesn't come. Jesus says, come to me, you who labour and are heavy laden, and I'll give you rest. There's plenty of people out there calling and calling and calling and the Lord's always there calling people to follow him. But you've actually got to motor along a bit. You've got to move yourself, get to him. Turn away from the other things that distract you, the other things in your life, the other things around you, and make your way and get along there. <laughs> Just going behind the fencer there, the rapid fencer. And uh, you can see the calling is still going on. Well, there'll be those of you out there for whom um, you're still waiting to respond to that call. This little lamb has uh, been with his mum just now and he's wandered off and she's called and he's calling and he's just got to get back and there's others of you out there like that as well. Jesus is still saying, come to me, you who labour, heavy laden, and I will give you rest. And there's the happy conclusion to the story. Because as you can see, he got to his mum, he's found the milk bar, and in a minute he'll have persevered long enough. Get into that milk bar to get himself what he wants. Jesus said, come to me. Just don't keep bleeding, come, come to me. Don't delay, get on the job. Come to me, you who labor on a heavy laden, I will give you rest. And like this you is a little bit more concerned at the moment to fill her own belly than to fill her lambs. Hope that's of interest and of help. Just think of that. There are hard times out there. There are times we're getting anxious. There are times when we're kind of crying out to God, but actually he does want us to cry out to him, but he wants us to come to him. And let's bear that in mind too, for his help, for his support in our time of need.